Hello and welcome to our channel Mockup Art. Today we have a engine oil jar mockup. If you want this mockup, link can be found in the description. So let's get started. So first you need to use the pen tool to mask out uh, to create different shapes for selection purpose. It's nothing just um, go along with the curve of this jar and it will create a replicate shape of this jar which we are going to use later for masking and selection purpose. So just click on the edges of this jar. Remember one thing when you are creating selection for using the pen tool don't make too much points uh, which will be tedious to handle later just try to as minimal as possible So now the base for the background is created. This is the add anchor point tool from the pin uh, tool menu. Just click on some certain points and curve them out. You can use the arrow key for direction or you can also use the mouse click to position those points. If you need to delete any anchor, just right click on them and delete the point.
just click along with this curve line and you can go roughly around the outer area we can later mask it out anyhow click on this point and match it with the curve line this will be our cap selection area now we have to create one selection for the leveling select the paint tool and click rough click from the outer area one small tip you can reduce the opacity from your keyboard just place the zero key from your numeric pad twice and it will be of zero the opacity similar as you can increase the op op opacity by little just press 10 or 20 it will make your opacity 20% 10% and so on try to match out as close as possible Creating base selection is actually the most time consuming part of creating a mock up. Okay, the three of saves are created. So now we have to create coloring and other part for this mock up. Select all of them and put them in a folder. It will be help to organize the whole file. Name them any how you want. I name them is object ID. Select the base image. Just control and click on those object or shapes so you can see which area is now on your selection select the base area and create a solid color layer it will be automatically apply the mask for the base color change any color you want you can make this any color select the cap area and the level area select the mask area and use the brush tool change the background and foreground color to black and white mask it out and use the brush tool make sure the opacity is 100% and stroke it out so you can see clearly just remove the mask so you have to create a lighting copy them and make three copy of it name them light mid tone and shadow change the shadow mode change the shadow to liner burn mid tone to liner dodge add 
you have to adjust the level to see the color clearly and lighting to screen adjust the level for this too This is the base of our bottle. Use the rectangle tool and create a rectangle from the at the level area and convert to a smart object. This will be our level. the distort and try to match out with the level Now select the label area and use apply the mask. You can always double check it. same lighting as we did in the base color make three copy after selecting it name name shadow mid tone and light the lighting is actually same for all part of this image Open up the smart object and place the design you want. Now for the cap portion, similar process, open up the object ID, select the cap,
make three copy of it. And change the lighting and shadow. is ready but I want to change the background too so select the base image and create a solid color layer just make it liner burn it will be project the shadow on it Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for future updates.